it's me, your old pal, Dan Classic. This is the Dan Classic Show, and I'm back with another easy peasy custom um, made possible by, you know, some good folks on the internet and also ClassicTVToys.com. Um, obviously, if you didn't fucking look at the thumbnail um, or, or you know, you're just fucking running into this video midstream, um, we're making Superman. Here's his costume. Um, and here is a custom Superman head that I actually purchased from someone off of eBay and I had to paint myself. Um, so the skin, I don't know if it's going to necessarily match up uh, very well. I don't even know how really all how good it looks. It looks alright. Um, I did an okay job painting it. But again, you know what? These are my customs and uh, I'm not making them to sell or anything. So I think for the, a first shot at one of these stupid fucking things, um, as far as painting a face on all these fuckers, doing the eyes is a big pain in the ass. Um, I used a push pin uh, to get the, the, the paint applications for his blue eyes. But he doesn't look super bad. He looks pretty good, honestly. And he looks better than that old school Mego head that doesn't really look like Superman. Um, at least to a lot of people. So let's go ahead and, and put him together. What, I'm, what I do have is an S-type body. But what's different about this S-type body from figures we might have seen before on the show um, is that this is the super deluxe awesome S-type body. And I figured for Superman, we're going to use the deluxe fucking body. Um, so this one's got um, like extra joints so that he can do like this kind of posing like in his knees, do like that. <laughs> they don't swivel side to side, but he's like some sort of fucking spaghetti noodle. Um, you can pose these things pretty well. This is a Mego size or a 1-9 style body, but it's all ball joints and it's super poseable. Not unlike a Marvel Legends figure, except it's about 9 inches tall when you get a head on there. So. What we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the head attached before we start putting clothes on. Um, so let's go ahead and do that right now. And we'll do that by um, opening it up with my little screwdriver. All right, so now I've got the screws out. All I got to do is make a little um, space to get the head in there. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need to fucking completely take the thing apart. It'll be a little stiff. It shouldn't take a little bit of fucking effort. Come on, motherfucker. Because I'm trying to show how easy it is. You should be able to get it in there. All right, so give me a moment and we'll get it put together. All right, so what I've discovered is that this head um, wasn't actually made to fit this style of uh, type body because if you look, um, the inside here is very, very thick. Um, if we can get a good shot there um, and it doesn't kind of wrap around it. We'll go ahead and retool this head and try to figure out a better way to do this. Um, but for now, we're not putting the figure together. All right, here's another fucking idea. Here is my original idea was what I was going to do was I here I have this uh, figures toy company retro style Superman. He's like the old fucking Mego style um, with the head like I talked about that a lot of people don't really think it looks like Superman. He looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He looks like looks like uh, Fred O'Neill uh, uh, for fans of the show if you remember. Um, so what we're gonna do for Fred here is um, what I was gonna do is I was gonna remove this head and I was gonna put it on this body and then I was gonna use this costume and uh, basically just replace it and give him a better, like give him an S-type body, kind of like I did with the Batman. Um, except that, you know, I already had the this other body already put together and ready to go for me. But what I will do now is I have that Superman costume that's actually a nicer one. And I'm gonna use that for now on with this body with this head. So there it is. So this big old mess I am gonna turn into an improved Superman figure come 
fucking hell or high water. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna fucking take this guy apart. So I'll start by taking off his, uh, his cape and now he's wearing it like a bib. Um, and then I'll have this other, this retro style Superman um, costume. Um, I can put it on anybody I want. I could put it on Chachi. I could put it on Leatherface if I felt like it. Um, and now I have an extra pair of Superman boots. So let me get this costume off. All right, so now we have a naked Superman. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why I wanna do these improvements. Because this is there as uh, Figures Toy Company's retro style or Mego style body. Um, it has these elastic bands on the inside. And um, yeah, it's really easy to break, <laughs> as you can see here. Um, just a, a little fooling with it, and the thing just falls apart in your hands. It can be restrung, um, not a big deal to restring it, and I do know how to do that. Um, but what I really want to do um, with this figure, and I'll get this arm reattached here before I take the head off. I'm going to take this head off um, as carefully as I can. And um, so we're going to use it on our other Superman figure. All right, so I got the head off. Um, just had to yank it right off and came, came right out. So go ahead and I'll put it on the S-type body. The S stands for Superman. I don't really know what the fuck it stands for. It stands for special. It stands for fucking stupidly goddamn complicated like this fucking project has become. Um, I'm gonna have to get like a Dremel tool or something for that other Superman head and I am really pissed off about it but that's fine I will make further improvements and um, and move on with my life here but I will make a, uh, a Superman with a better body um, that won't fucking break right away like the you know like the piece of shit one because there, there are problems with uh, figures toy company um, with some of the stuff you get there. You buy these retro style figures or whatever, they're really good for display. And uh, someone who's who who I know, who's very diplomatic, has said the same thing. They're great for display. They're, but you know what? These, these are fucking toys, dude. They aren't photos. They aren't statues. They're made to be played with. They're made to be, or they're supposed to be made to be played with. They're supposed to be made to be uh, posed. And, um, and you should be able to kind of play around with them a little bit without them fucking breaking right out of the box, especially when they're charging upwards of 20 to $30 for these fucking things. Um, but with this, oh my God, so much better. So much better. He's super naked, posable man. And look at my super dick. Hey. Anyway, let's get these fucking clothes on him and see how he looks like after that. All right, so he's all done now. I got his boots on. I got his costume on. Um, it did take a little bit of trying. He has big fucking boulder shoulders now, um, as opposed to that little scrawny piece of shit body that we took off of him. Um, he looks so much better. He's so much more posable. He's so fucking cool now. Um, it's unfortunate that we still have the retro head, um, but it can be changed out. And at some point, once I do get a, the proper tool, um, I will get the proper head for this figure and he'll be super complete. But for now, I love this figure. I love the fact that the suit's a little tight on him. It should be a little tight on him. It shouldn't look like he's just some dude wearing Superman pajamas. He, he looks like fucking Superman. Um, this is a great, great figure for a pretty good price. Um, if you, you know, if you're just going to buy one of these things, if you bought them in pieces, if you bought the Superman head, you bought the Superman costume, um, and then the body by themselves, it's going to run you 20 to $30, and you're going to end up with something pretty fucking good. Um, I'm happy with the way it looks. He's got the emblem on the back. Um, he's got a nice soft cape. 
He is not unlike the Batman that we made before. Um, another DC Universe custom. Um, didn't exactly turn out how I want him to, but he turned out. Um, so there he is, it's Superman!